This exhibition is about uh, the fate of visual form of knowledge, which is called the Atlas. It is based on the work of Abi Warburg, a German art historian and theoretician. He is the great moment, the great turn for understanding what are images. This exhibition is about uh, the proximity between uh, this uh, work of knowledge and the work of many artists of the 20th and 21st century dealing with this form of atlas uh, in which uh, we can recognize a history of human imagination. Generally, if, if you exhibit an archive, you don't see nothing. The real use of an archive is to work with weeks after weeks, month after month, uh, years after years. It's long. However, an atlas is a synoptic presentation of differences. You see one thing and a very different thing close to this. And the, the aim of an atlas is to make you understand the link which is not a link of similarity, but a secret link between two different things. And so the atlas is a more visual tool than any archive, of course. Atlas is a work of montage in which uh, different times come together. It's a shock. And so it's not only a question of hanging beautiful things on the wall. It's about the working process, which is uh, sometimes, uh, very often, a work on the table. I play on the words in uh, French, tableau and table. And uh, when you have a table, you have two different objects, or, or three, three. If you put one, two, three, or one, three, two, uh, it has a different significance. So, of course, this exhibition is about how to use the montage uh, up to give significance, new significance to the images. Any interesting image does not belong to only one time. Any interesting image is a confrontation, a coexistence of different times. Making the history of art through atlases is the contrary of making a history of art as a narrative. Uh, Warburg was considered by everybody in art history as a kind of uh, ancestor. But what is the use of ancestors? Uh, you can say an ancestor is just past. I think if you read again, uh, you uh, find new ways to understand our own contemporaneity. I think Warburg was impoverished and we must today read again Warburg to uh, discover this uh, richness.